It's hard to turn away when you watch fireworks like these, but Merle's Inlet resident Gary Weinrich says what's up in the sky could be harming what's down below. The former environmental engineer says the weekly fireworks show in Merle's Inlet could lead to long-term problems for the inlet's ecosystem. I'm concerned about these youngsters down the pier here that are fishing and catching flounder. Um, that fishery maybe not being, you know, what it might be if, uh, if the sea life's damaged. Now the first fireworks show of this year was last Monday night. Weinrich says he ventured out early Tuesday morning and found debris like this littering the waters around the marsh walk. There was uh, paper wrappers fairly large in size. There was uh, aluminum foil with firecracker information labels on it. And the name of the company that launched the fireworks was also on the label. So I took Weinrich's concerns to those in charge of the show. The Marsh Walk Restaurant Association. Dead Dog's managing partner Mike Campbell says it's up to the company that sets off the fireworks to clean up. Zambelli, the contracted vendor, is responsible for any debris that falls down into the water. Campbell says Weinrich might have come across this debris before the contractor had a chance to pick it up. But he says he and the association will make sure it doesn't happen again. As far as the cleanup goes, if the, if the Zambelli team is not going to be there, the Marsh Walk association will take responsibility and go ahead and get our people out there to clean it up first thing in the morning. He says the association will also be inspecting the inlet on their own, so images like these are preserved. In Merle's Inlet, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15.